Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today we're going to look at some pencils. Uh, these are the Ticonderoga Enviro Sticks. Uh, they say the environmentally friendly pencil. So, uh, of course, we've done a lot of uh, iterations of Ticonderoga pencils here on Always Analog, <clears throat> uh, and this is yet another in that mix. And um, I like natural pencils generally, and so I thought, all right, let me try these and see how they are. So uh, you have a do you get a dozen here in, in the box, and uh, these are number two, HB, uh, is the grade, and Ticonderoga, you can see they've got the big, big blue marble there, the, the, the Earth, Enviro Sticks, the environmentally friendly pencil, celebrating over a hundred years of excellence. Um, unpainted wood, and then here it has the FSC seal, 100% wood from well-managed forests. So here is the, the package. Um, uh, other than the front, uh, everything else is on the back. And here uh, they show a, a, a picture of the actual pencil itself, although you can kind of see through the front here. And 12, number 2 HB pencils, uh, Ticonderoga quality, latex-free eraser, unpainted wood. Uh, it has the Pencil Makers Association seal. Uh, then down here, of course, let's get focused in, uh, Dixon Ticonderoga Company, Afila Company, uh, the parent company is Fila. I think, believe they are based in Italy. And all the websites, phone numbers, etc. Prang Power for uh, school supply um, the points uh, for those who collect it. And then um, at the bottom, where they are made. So these are made in China, as many of the, the Ticonderogas are. So let's open the box here, um, and let's start. Let's start with sort of a top-down view. You can see they are hexagonal pencils, and we're just kind of looking here at the core placement. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a couple of them that look uh, a bit off center. But I would say the majority of them look to be fairly well centered. So um, let's take one out here and get a little closer look at the pencil itself. So again, kind of going top down here, we have our, our core. It is an unvarnished pencil. So, in you know terms of uh, natural pencils that aren't painted and are just natural wood pencils, some of them choose to put a clear lacquer coat on the pencil. Uh, gives it a little bit of a shine. Um, also, sort of helps uh, the wood from absorbing um, the oils in one's. Uh, skin from your fingers. Um, and then there are some that are really just raw. Uh, the, very smooth, very smooth wood here, um, but no sign of any kind of varnishing at all on the wood itself. Um, and then it's got the Ticonderoga Enviro Stick number 2 HB uh, in a green foil. Um, nicely done, uh, very easy to read, uh, and uh, got a little bit of a, you know, kind of a metallic look. 
And then, of course, it has the iconic Ticonderoga feral, uh, green and gold striped, that is glued on. You won't, don't see any crimping here. There's no crimping on the barrel of the pencil, nor is there any crimping, crimping holding the eraser on. Now, where it differs from, say, a standard Ticonderoga, you'd have a pink eraser up here. But, you know, we're keeping it green, I guess, with the Enviro stick, so they put on a green eraser. Actually, it looks nice uh, on the pencil. So there it is. There's our pencil. I'm going to uh, sharpen this, and we will do some writing. All right, I've got the pencil sharpened up here, and let's do a little bit of writing. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what, writes like any <clears throat> Dixon Ticonderoga uh, that we might be familiar with, uh, for that matter. I particularly find uh, the pencils, that, uh, the Ticonderoga pencils that are made in China uh, versus uh, the ones that are made in Mexico, the Chinese made pencils tend to be a little darker and a little smoother, a little less scratchy. Uh, and that is very much the case in this pencil. Um, Let's see, I have a, let me see if I have a Ticonderoga here. Um, I don't have one handy. I'll find another one, a standard one, but I, I think really think it's the same core. Here's a Ticonderoga black, also made in China. Um, Yeah, very much feels like the same, pretty much the same core. Uh, so, um, if you are someone who in, likes a natural pencil, again, this is really unvarnished, unadorned, and you've had a good experience with uh, Ticonderoga, then this just might be a pencil you would like. Let's let's do an eraser test here. And first, there's a slight smudge drag. I find that the Ticonderoga number twos don't smudge a great deal. We're going to try the attached eraser first and see how it performs. Hmm. Uh, not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Uh, better than average for an attached eraser. Here's a Pentel. Uh, polymer, let's see. And uh, it does a decent job. Let's keep it all in the family here and use a Dixon Pink Carnation.
which I don't know if this is if this is the eraser they put on a atop a standard Triconderoga. But you can see that did a very good job. I've got a foam eraser here. Let's see how this foam technology works. Uh, uh, let's see, we have a Hartmuth natural rubber eraser here. Try that, okay. We have a Milan. Wow, okay, and then an art gum, uh, gum eraser. Okay, so really going across the eraser spectrum here, this pencil uh, erased fairly well. I will give it an A minus B plus overall. Uh, it got an extra little bonus point for the attached eraser being above average. I'm going to give it another sharpen though, uh, so it seems to have dulled. So let's t just write a little bit more. Yeah, a good, um, very solid uh, number two feel HB in terms of its tone, in terms of its uh, line, in terms of its uh, hardness, and um, a very erasable pencil, a very smooth, nice, natural barrel. And uh, if, like, again, uh, this is, a, I think, a good, good overall choice uh, in natural pencils, if this is sort of what you like. So, thank you, as always, for spending a few minutes with me as we checked out this Ticonderoga EnviroStick number 2 HB pencil. We'll see you again real soon here on Always Analog.